Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the radius of this given semicircle that is inscribed in this given right triangle ABC. And one more thing, the line segment AB, this one is square root of 2 and the line segment AC is one that has been given to us. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution. And here is our very first step. Let's look at this 45, 45 and 90 degrees triangle theorem. In this kind of triangle, the length of the hypotenuse is the length of a leg times square root of 2 as you can see in this triangle and over here in this kind of triangle we have these 45 degree angles and this leg is same as this leg and the hypotenuse is always going to be one time square root of two let's focus on this our given uh, right triangle abc we can see exactly same kind of scenario if this is 1, this is going to be square root of 2. So that means this side, this leg, if this is 1, this leg has got to be 1 as well. And one more thing, these angles are going to be 45 degrees as well. So thus this angle BAC is 45 degrees. And moreover, this line segment CB is 1, as we can see over here. And in this next step, we are going to label this center of this semicircle. I am going to call M. And this point of tangency, I am going to call point N. And here is our nicer looking graph with this center M and with the point of tangency N. And in this next step, let's go ahead and look at this two tangents theorem. If two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the external point, in our case is point B, then they are congruent. And congruent means same in shape and size. So therefore, the line segment NB is congruent to line segment CB. If this line segment is one unit, then this line segment NB is going to be one unit as well. So therefore, I wrote down NB line segment is one. And in this next step, let's go ahead and connect points M and N. Let's connect nicely points M and N. And I am going to call, as you can see, this is the radius. I'm going to call it lowercase r. And here is our nicer looking graph once we have connected our points M and N. And this is our radius r. And one more thing, tangent to a circle theorem. The angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. So therefore, the angle between this radius r and this tangent is going to be 90 degrees, they are perpendicular. And here is our next step, we know that the angle this angle is 45 degrees angle BAC is 45 degrees as we figured out in our previous steps now let's look at this uh, 45 45 90 degrees triangle theorem once again according to this theorem if this is a 45 degree and this is a 90 degree right angle then this has got to be this angle is going to be 45 degrees as well and one more thing since this is according to this one over here this leg and this leg they are going to have the same 
length. In this case, in our case, this these are our legs, all right? And this is our hypotenuse. So these legs must be same. If this is R, then this has got to be R as well. That means it is isosceles triangle. So thus, this line segments A N turns out to be equal to R. And here is our final step. Let's focus on this line segment A B. This is square root of 2. And this is equal to the sum of the addition of this line segment A N, which is R and the line segment NB which is 1. No wonder I wrote down line segment AB equal to line segment AN plus line segment NB. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. The AB, this line segment AB in our case is square root of 2 which is right up here, as you can see, equal to the line segment AN is R plus the line segment NB is 1 over here. And we are going to solve for R. Let's move this 1 on the other side. So R is going to be equal to square root of 2 minus 1. Thus the radius of this semicircle turns out to be r equal to square root of 2 minus 1 or in terms of decimal it's approximately equal to 0 0.414 and that is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye